Welcome to CAPRO Systems. This is Matthew Wheat. I'm going to run you through a short presentation about advanced steel to the machine. This process allows you to take any DSTV files and import them into, uh, into CAMDUCK and process them automatically, generate, uh, generate nests, generate MC files of those nets and write some reports. So I'm just going to accept all the defaults as it's set up from start. I've imported all these items. These items you can verify them by the little icons. You can double click on them and have a look at the drawing that goes associated with them or the geometry. We can see that the name has been given. It's been given F6 that would have come from uh, advanced steel. The plate size, um, the actual perimeter of this plate, how much it needs to cut and the little holes inside it. Uh, it's going to be machine cut to 12 of them in this job and none of them have been nested yet and the material is 250 grade as this one here is 16 mil but you can see there's various materials already been set up so once you've got all your items in here we could throw in some standard parts that will fill up some blank spaces if we want to but i'm just going to run this process that i've set up called steel it's going to run out uh, make me save the job it's going to nest all those items and write out some reports to PDF. If I had real printers connected to this machine, I would be printing out to probably a label printer, and I would print out some reports about material utilization. So we can have a look at the nests here, see what, what sort of job it's done with doing the, doing the nests. And um, see this one here is pretty full, so we'll have a quick look at that. It's Give me a warning that the MC files already written, so don't muck around with changing this nest, or you're going to have to rewrite it. So anyway, this is a 250 grade 10 mil sheet. You can see the other sheets that were here, what's used in this job, and uh, they're two sheets sizes, uh, two different sheets. It's been utilised a lot more than the other. So if we actually want to look at the NC code that's been generated from there, we can just right mouse button and go and have a look at it. At, uh, and I've written it out to. Uh, a kinetics machine. These are ones that are that are New Zealand made machines or assembled at least, um, and uh, they're fairly popular around the world. And they, it does. I've set this up for common line cutting, and I've made allowance for the curve, so the post uh, the nest is taken care of all that. Um, and when we output the code, you can see you can run through the code manually. You can double click the places in it. Uh, we can just jump to the end and have a look. When we're satisfied with all that, we can go out to the machine and pick up the CNC file from the machine itself, from, from this directory. So there's the whole automated process. I've just been showing you these reports just to show you what happens. Um, so uh, just go down and have a look at, the, say, the 10 mil sheet here. Um, see the utilisation, um, sheet size, how much time I should spend on the machine according to how I've set the machine up and uh, what all the labels should be. You can go out there with a pen and mark them all if you feel like it. Anyway, so we go back into uh, CamDuct and just to show you what these processes look like. Um, so this process, <clears throat> I've got nothing set up. You can run a script first up. I don't know how to do that. Uh, we can run uh, linear nests for linear parts. Again, it doesn't matter. These are plate elements, so they're going to be cut from sheet. Uh, for nesting, these, this does matter, and we're of using um, NFP nesting. Found it's more efficient <coughs> than true shape nesting for rectangular parts. The true shape nesting is better for uh, odd shaped parts. So in the situation, you can see there are a lot more options in these other dialog boxes, or other tabs inside this dialog boxes. Um, and when we set up the machine, it's already been set up, so there it's just sitting there, ready to go. Um, so we can just look at a whole lot of reports that we can write. Um, we've just written out two, but there are literally hundreds of reports in here. So um, that is the whole process. So basically, what we've done is that we've imported a run of items. We have nested them all automatically. We have written all the NC files, and we've printed out all the reports. That is as simple as it gets. And if you want to find out any more detail about how exciting this process is, we can go into detail about setting up machines, setting up materials, uh, setting up standard parts, how to run processes, how to write reports, all the nesting options. 
So just let me know what you want to know first and we'll run through that topic. And have a great day and we'll see you next time.